In this demo, I'm going to show you how to streak bacteria onto an auger plate. You can propagate bacteria that's been growing onto auger. So here you see I have a lot of bacteria here growing on that auger or from a liquid culture. So you can see how it's cloudy. There's a lot of growth there. That's bacteria. Now that I have my lab coat on, I am ready to get started. But first, in order to practice proper aseptic technique, I need to do a couple things. One is to clean my workspace with 70% ethanol. Also clean my gloves with ethanol as well. And then also set up my Bunsen burner flame as I wanna work in close proximity to the flame that provides a cone of protection such that ultimately I am only going to propagate the intended bacteria and hopefully nothing else, no other contamination from my environment, the workspace, or myself. Here is my starting plate from which I will pick a colony to streak onto a new auger plate. But you can see here that I practice the streaking method on this plate. So starting up here at the top, you see thicker lines, right? You cannot really make out distinct single colonies up here at the top because there's a lot of bacteria growing up there. But the purpose of the streaking method is to as you make a new streak with a new inoculation loop or a toothpick and you drag that through your initial streak, you are essentially, effectively, diluting out the concentration of those bacteria so that you now see nice, distinct, discrete, single colonies. In some labs, you'll come across inoculation loops that are plastic and are individually packaged like this one. This is a one and done deal. Whereas if you come across a metal inoculation loop in a lab, those are reusable. Importantly, you have to sterilize it in between streaks, so you would just put it across the flame until it's red hot. For this demonstration, I'm using plastic inoculation loops one and done. So I'm going to use this for one streak. I will toss it, and I will open up a new package uh, for the next streak. I'm going to take my sterile inoculation loop pull it out of its sterile packaging. Again, I'm gonna work closely to my flame. I'm going to take my inoculation loop and I'm going to scoop up a colony from this plate. And now I'm going to grab a fresh LB plate. I'm going to take my inoculation loop, which has hopefully some bacteria on it. And I'm gonna do a little zigzag motion or it's even okay if you do some parallel lines. Sometimes I prefer parallel lines, so I'm going to do that. But I'm going to drag it gently across the auger, gently so I do not puncture the auger. So if the light catches it, you will be able to see that I have some streaks up here at the very top. Now that I made that first streak, I'm going to toss this inoculation loop and get a fresh one because this is plastic. If you are working with a metal one, this is where you would then hold it over the flame to sterilize it before you make the next streak. Here's my next loop. So I can, I can see when the light catches it where my previous streak was. So now I, what I wanna do is drag my new inoculation loop through the last line of that previous streak. So I'm gonna do that now. I just did a couple more parallel lines. The first one being dragged through that previous streak, all others not intersecting with that last streak. And now I toss this and get a new inoculation loop. I now have another inoculation loop here. So I'm going to turn this another 90 degrees or so. I can see when the light catches it where my last streak was. So now I'm going to drag this inoculation loop through that last line of the previous streak. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up for the sake of this demo, but you can do this four or five times until you fill up the plate with streaks so that ultimately you have some single colonies in the center of your plate. You can also streak out liquid cultures onto auger plates. For example, I have an overnight culture of some E. coli. I'm just going to pop off the lid here. I'm going to just dip this inoculation loop right into the culture, being careful not to touch the sides of the tube. I just wanna dip it right down into the liquid. So I have a little droplet there of that liquid culture. And now I can take a new auger plate and I can just streak that directly onto the plate and practice the same streaking method. So toss this, I can get a new inoculation loop such that eventually towards the center of this plate, I now will have hopefully single colonies.